video, I will be talking about the Wan Ganwi computer bombing, and give you my thoughts about this incident. I hope you all enjoy, or at least find this video informative, but first, a thank you to Mikey Semple for suggesting the topic of this video. Now, for those who are unaware, providing context courtesy of Wikipedia, quote, the Wan Ganwi computer center bombing occurred in Wanganui, New Zealand, in the early hours of November the 18th, 1982, where a suicide bomb attack was made against a facility housing the main computer system of the New Zealand Police, Courts, Ministry of Transport, and other law enforcement agencies. The force of the blast made it so that police were initially unable to determine the sex of the perpetrator, though by today's standards that would be considered offensive because there are many sexes and many genders. The attacker, a quote, punk rock, unquote, anarchist named Neil Roberts, was the only person killed, and the computer system was left undamaged. The event was carried out to protest New Zealand's ability to record the personal information of citizens, which was seen as potentially dangerous by civil libertarians. The computer center continued to operate until its closure in 2005. Unquote. Now on to my personal views regarding this incident. Now, personally, I was unaware of the one gun we computer bombing prior to the suggestion of Mikey Semple. Thanks again, by the way. So after a bit of investigating, which mostly consists of internet browsing, all the while looking through the records of this incident, I have found that there were many New Zealanders who were fearful of this new technology, as well as its ability to provide a detailed analysis of each citizen, for the state to utilize against the population, and as a result, massive protests took place a few years after the creation of the Wanganui Computer Center. Among the protesters, a radical emerged. Neil Roberts, who sought the destruction of the center and took his own life to ensure that destruction. Yet it was all in vain, just like most political forms of terrorism, as by the mid-1990s the computer system was decommissioned, largely as a result of maintenance issues, ultimately closing itself down in 2005, as it ceased to be useful as new technology would replace it. And it does go to show, ladies and gentlemen, that it is best to let time take its course and learn from the mistakes of others. In this case, Roberts lost his life for a cause that ultimately collapsed in on itself. While more and more people accepted such a system, whether it was its progenitor or its successor, as the New Zealand government refined the system to an in-house successor to the Wanganui Computer Centre and should be a tale told to all to think before you act, for many lives could well be at stake, especially your own in this instance. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's my thoughts on the Wanganui Computer Center bombing, a video that proves that there's no topic I will not talk about. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Suggestions for videos like this one are always welcome in the comments section down below. And so I shall end this video by wishing you all a great day. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, bye for now.